All right, we're on hole number two of the winter major. We're in Tuesday's qualifying round, and we're using this as a practice round. I'm a day behind this week, so I'm gonna have to practice. I'm gonna have to practice today and play tomorrow, and try and get in tomorrow with two accounts. So I'm I'm a little behind the times. Trying to wrap up the assignment I'm on, and it's real busy at the end. I only got another week or so. So this hole here, you know, the first time I played this hole, I thought, this is so inviting over here. I came over here at it, and I, and I was playing with a lower level. I was playing with a rock and a cube and a sniper. So. I ended up a little short out here, and then with the sniper, this was a very difficult shot. It is a very difficult shot down there. But I started doing the shot down here, and with that shot, if you're down in this area, you've got a nice, nice come up here to get your eagle. If you end up way down here at the bottom, if you draw the line from that spot to the pin, that means you have to negotiate with this. And so I've been hitting it way down here to the bottom because I've been bringing a sniper and I wanted the ball guide. And I was using a, I was using a katana, but I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna switch that to a kingmaker just to give me a little more room on the other side. And I'm gonna bring my QB so that I can. It'll give me, a, it'll put me back out here a little more in this flat area when I try and run it up. But it gives me more topspin if I'm hitting in this area. With the rock, I'm hitting like right up in this area, and you're hitting kind of on a hillside right there. But when you come to the green, if if you draw the line to come out into this area, you know, you don't really have to get it out there. If you get it anywhere from the very tip down there, even up here, if you, but if you're going to hit pretty much anywhere above this line on this side, this is probably big dog territory because you're going to easily be able to get over and give yourself maneuverability room and your red line is going to be somewhere up in here. If you're way down here in the bottom and you're hitting with your, if so when I'm way down here, Hitting with a sniper, my red line's somewhere right in this area. If you're back here and you got a big dog, your red line's going to be in that same area. So you're going to have a lot of control. But if you're back here with your big dog, you do have a nicer view at it so that you can come at it. So a kingmaker would help, or a katana if you have a. But if I, if you pull out your big dog, that means you need distance. And pretty much in my book, whenever I pull my QB out or whenever I have a big dog hole. That kind of tells me that if you're bringing out a club that you need distance, distance is the, is the critical factor here, then you need to bring a bigger ball. I mean, that's why you brought your big dog, because distance was an issue. So bring a bigger ball to help the big dog out. But you don't have to get all the way down in here to the bottom in order to have this shot. But if you get way down here in the bottom, you have to negotiate around. I'm not going to do the bounce over. I'm going to come at it from the side. There is a little bit of a slope here. Um, but I'm going to come out at the side and secure my eagle. This isn't going to be, in my opinion, a really high albatross hole, although there's always going to be people that are going to get albatrosses on any hole or sink a, get a hole in one on a par four. That's going to happen. But this isn't going to be a hole that's going to lend itself to albatross. But I do think if you're back here further, I would definitely bring a big dog, and you do have a better view of the green. So you don't have to get all the way down to the tip. So if you short shoot this, as long as you brought a big enough ball and you brought the right club. So if you're in the middle, so like drawing the areas, if you're down into this area right here, you can, your red line's right here with a QB or with a sniper, excuse me. If you're in the middle area, your red line's going to be right there with a guardian. If you're in the back area, your red line's going to be right there with a big dog. So you're going to have a better view, view with your big dog, but it has the worst ball guide of the bunch. If you got a higher level guardian that's got some of its ball guide, you're going to be able to get, you're going to be able to do more with backspin if you can get up there high enough if you got a big enough ball. So any of those woods would work, but if you're going to use those woods, actually with a big dog, don't go all the way down into the hole. Leave it up here so that you can get the most utilization out of it. You don't need a big dog if you're way down in the hole. All right, so we're on hole number two. Let's go get at it. Let's make sure we've got, I'm going to take a QB. I'm going to switch my bag up here. I really like using the rock because the rock has more distance. And it's right in between. 
it's not quite as soon as I get to level eight it'll be much much better but it has a little more distance than the QB but the QB's got better top spin and at this I think at this point right here they're both this, the same accuracy so we've got our QB I'm gonna take a sniper And I'm bringing my accurate stuff on that end. And I want to bring a big ball. So I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. QB Sniper Kingmaker. I'm going for that lower level. Because we brought a sniper, we're trying to get as far down in there as we can get. I'm going to pull back a little and get out here into the flat and get off that hillside a little. We're going to take that wind out of it. That's 3-1. So there's 3-1. Nice and easy. Getting it great on the right. Great on the inside. So if I would have had an extra mile right there and I had a great on the inside trying to get up that narrow little chute, I would have ended up out here in the rough. No doubt about it. But with a 100% accurate club going right dead in the middle, not trying to ride up against one side or the other. If you hit a grate to the left or the right and you didn't apply any curl and you didn't do any weird stuff, no overpower, no nothing, you're gonna your odds of ending up still in the fairway are gonna be greatly increased by using a more accurate club. And this is pretty much a pure layup shot. So, you know, using your accurate stuff right now is not going to hurt you. So if you're using your accurate stuff and you end where our opponent's at, see how much the more the greens open here? I would just want to make sure that you bring the right wood. And it's all going to depend on the woods that are in your bag. So you can see where my red line's at. Our opponent's red line's actually, if they brought a big dog, their red line's going to be up higher than that. And we're just going to try and bring it down. Now I've noticed that you want to... You want to think about it f going more to the wants to go more to the other side of the cup so we're at two f two three so it's about two and a half rings just a little less no curl no nothing just put it in the hole isn't it perfect There are several of these holes here where the way that it rolls down that hill and, and unless I put a lot more curl on it trying to get more aggressive going towards the hole and I will as the week goes on. We wanna, my main goal is, is to make sure when, so the first deal when I come to these holes is try and establish what I'm going to do for a drive. And then once I establish what I'm going to do for a drive then it's all about picking the right club for where, I, where I'm ending up. So... I feel that I have a better shot trying to figure out how to get my sniper in the hole than I will trying to get on this particular hole trying to figure out how to get my big dog in the hole. And So our opponent brought a four power ball but they brought a sniper. So that gives them that extra distance so that they still have a shot at it. But you don't have to bring a four power ball here. If you brought a three power ball and a big dog he would have been fine right there. And I'm gonna have to get more, and getting more aggressive to the hole, I'm not going to, to do anything about bouncing over this sand. I am not going to go over the sand to get onto the green. I'm gonna. F I'm going to go around it because I'm not gonna risk my bird. My. 
my eagle on this hole by trying to get too aggressive messing around that sand. I think there's a lot of people that are going to get to this hole and this hole is going to eat their lunch and they're going to end up with birdie. And there's going to be more, there's going to be a whole lot more people who get birdie than get albatross. So I want to be in the eagle group. All right, that was hole two, par five of the winter major. Thanks for watching.